How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another pack opening and shuffles video. Let's get started with some silver combos, clear out the reserves. Alright, starting with a couple of shuffles. Maybe I'll have some good luck today. And uh, I'm going to be asking for you guys' input at the end of the video. So please stick around and let me know which direction that you would probably take with my car. Or with my uh, account, I mean. Let's get into some silver and premium. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it's a pretty crappy picture, so not really useful. I'll take the vintage, though. Maybe one of these days I can finally land a legend from a vintage combo. Shovels are looking pretty good so far. It's not a bad picture. Eleven buttons. Oh, another gold. Nice stamp room. shuffle it's not a very good adrian hoser got a trout prime your trout okay Yeah, 
and silver combos have been on fire so far. I guess one of these days I'm going to figure out how to disable notifications on this phone. Oh, no golds, really. Diamond, okay, let's go. Aaron, no, that's a pretty decent card. Almost good skills. Another diamond. Wow, okay. Almost good skills on an Upton, but not quite. Hopefully I can get something useful with some of these team select packs. some pretty crappy cards so far out of these. Gold Asia. Oh, wow, a diamond from Team Select. Like once or twice a year, this happens. It's a Grisham. Not going to be useful, unfortunately. Just combo material. Probably hold on to that Barnes for a Black Diamond experience.
Okay, just a few more of these. Couple of premium vintage packs. I would really like to have this luck comboing silver cards on my Houston team. That'd be awesome. Got a diamond or two, oh, one diamond. Got another scoop. Almost a really good uh, skill set on that Stratton. Nice Jose Ramirez. Rosarena. Rookie of the Year.
shovels have been kind of disappointing. Another prime chance. I got them. I actually got that card, a diamond version of that card, quite a while ago from a shuffle. I think that was the day that I got two Diamond Primes. I think I got Clippered and Holland. Neither of them had skills though, so just got rid of them. Should check on the skills on those uh, Diamond cards that I got a while ago. That web and... Um, Prime your trout. Gintama. Okay, last combo of the day. It's a nice giant Quato, decent Rizzo. skills wow that's a hell of a skill set I had a feeling one of these cards was going to have a nice skill set boss finesse pitching machine not quite good enough to hang or to keep hanging around though another decent skill set Alright, let's get into some skill changes. Gold, but fool's gold. Oh, it's one level away from using greens. One skill away. Skill away from using greens on that finesse, or one level away, I should say. Boss finesse, all level one. Uh, control Master MS. Wow, okay. Um, that's something worth uh, building now, at least. I'll try some blues on that, see if I can get something 
decent. Set up man. Winning streak, not good enough. Oh, bronze. Well, that sucks. At least I have something worth building around, though. Control Master. Hopefully I can get something else and have mass level, too. Well, that solves one of my uh, questions I was going to ask, because assuming I didn't land anything on Chase, I was going to ask if it was worth my while to great increase the catfish hunter that I have in backups and try to land good skills on him since apparently I have pretty good skills or pretty good luck landing three good skills on legend pitchers at least. And I'm all out of blues now. They should be available towards the end of the month I would think. So another question I was going to ask you guys is... Should I try using some blues on this skill set on this moose and then try to land something fantastic? And if I can do that, then I would replace Martinez in my lineup and I would try to roll premium skill changes on him and try to land uh, batter's chemistry. I know it's long odds, but... Basically, one I think the odds of running batter's chemistry on this card is 1 out of 35, so that's not terrible. I could just keep on using premium skill change tickets on him for however long it takes to get batter's chemistry. Or do you think I should just keep this Edgar Martinez and just not really uh, put any resources into Moose? Because, I mean, that would be a hell of a project. At least I do have quite a few diamond mooses to use for black diamond experience. If I did land anything good on him. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you would do that. Basically at this point, if I'm going to try to go for batter's chemistry, I would do it on Edgar Martinez. And hopefully only if I can land a, a good third skill on moose. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea or not, especially since I finally landed something worth building on Chase. Although that's assuming I don't blow through all my blues trying to get a third skill on Chase. So let me know in the comments if you would pursue that if you were me. And see you guys next weekend for some more videos. Thank you.